Hi, I'm your Everyday Joe. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to make a real simple recipe. It's a chicken palm stromboli. Basically a uh, rolled up dough with chicken palm. So make sure you stay tuned. We're going to need some frozen pre-prepared Tyson chicken tenderloins, some mozzarella cheese, a little bit of flour, some marinara sauce, egg wash, some chopped onions, olive oil, and some pre-made dough. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this chicken cooked. Now, this, this is the Tyson uh, tenderloin, panko tenderloins. Uh, although they're all breaded and ready to go, uh, they're frozen, but they're raw chicken. So make sure uh, if you're gonna pick these up, and I'll leave a picture here on the side. Uh, if you're gonna pick these up, th this is raw chicken that's just been breaded. So we want to make sure it's fully cooked. I'm going to put these two tenderloins on the rack. Put it uh, about midway in your power air fry oven. So I'm going to close the door, power on. We're going to go 400. And about 12 to 15 minutes should be okay uh, because we are going to uh, cut it up afterwards and put it into the dough and cook it for an additional 15 minutes. So while this is going, I'm going to get this pre-made dough. And I got this dough from... Uh, uh, from one of the uh, uh, supermarkets. You can go to your local baker. Uh, they usually have fresh dough made. Instead of making it, you know, go through the hassle of you know, the flour and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna spread this out. I wanna make sure that I get you know, pretty good uh, width. Uh, so I'm gonna spread this out while we're cooking that. And I'll bring you back when, uh, when I got everything ready and the chicken is done. Okay, so this is just about done here. I'm gonna test the temperature. We wanna make sure we're at about 165 degrees, but keep in mind, it's gonna cook probably for another 10 or 15 minutes uh, when we get the stromboli set up. So let's just get this out. Okay, so let's check the temperature here. Okay, we're at 160, 164. So we're at 165 here. Okay, and this one here's a little smaller, so that one there should definitely be, yeah, yeah, that's well above. Okay, so these are ready to go. I'm just gonna put these down to let them cool a little bit. Put that back in here. All right. Okay, so uh, if you can see, I, I stretched the dough over my cutting board uh, just to keep it from pulling back because I want to make sure it's, it's nice and wide uh, for when we wrap it all up. So what I'm going to do now is we're going we're gonna to cut the, the chicken strips. Uh, and again, keep in mind, uh, these are raw chicken, so you want to make sure that uh, they're well cooked. Uh, so you can see, cooked nicely. and. I'm just going to cut maybe uh, uh, three-eighths inch, half-inch strips. Okay. So we're just going to cut strips. And you can see these things are very hot. And I'm cutting it in the length way. And you can find these. These things are great for, you know, a quick dinner. You just throw them in your power air fry oven, 15 minutes, uh, it's good to go. These make, make good uh, uh, club sandwiches, you know, ch chicken club sandwiches, or anything else you want to use uh, the chicken for. Uh, also, in, on a salad, these go really well on a salad. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this aside here so we can work with the dough. Okay, so we're just going to flip that over. All right. All right, so if you can see, it's kind of sticking a little bit because I had it sitting here. So we're just gonna make sure we release it. Okay, I mean, I could have done it on the counter too. It just, uh, I wanna be able to move it out of the way. All right, all right, so 
and this, this is really soft dough. Uh, where I got it at the supermarket, they, they do a really good job with this dough, as long as you catch it fresh. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is hit it with some olive oil. Brush a little bit of olive oil on it. You don't have to go too heavy. So I've got maybe, uh, you know, maybe a teaspoon of olive oil. And just spread it out. All right. So put that aside. So I'm going to add some cheese right to the bottom. And I've got uh, you know, maybe about eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. This is the whole milk cheese. You can use any kind of cheese, shredded cheese you want. You can even use uh, some uh, sliced cheese. That actually works really well. Makes life a lot easier too, but this is what I have on hand. So that's what gets used. Okay. All right, we have some of this sliced green onion. I'm gonna sprinkle that on here. All right, and all right, so I've got some seasoning here. Uh, I'm gonna add some garlic powder or granulated garlic. Okay, here, and some onion powder. Not too much, because we do have the green onion. Just add a little bit of that. Some crushed black pepper. Okay. And just a little bit of salt. You can always add salt later, so just maybe a pinch. And this is the uh, this is the Arrow Garden uh, herbs that I took from here. You can see how they kind of grown wild. I'm gonna have to trim those down. Uh, that I let dry out in the fridge, and then crush them up so I can use it as my own little house blend seasoning, similar to an Italian seasoning. It's basil, some mint, some thyme. Is in here, so and it smells awesome. It smells awesome. So uh, now we're gonna get this chicken, and we're just gonna lay it across like this. So you're just making kind of stripes because we're gonna roll it all up. We want to make sure that the chicken is pretty much in every bite. Okay, I'm gonna put that in there. Throw that on there. So the next step, we're gonna take the sauce. And you don't wanna to go too heavy with the sauce because it will uh, soak your dough and you don't want it too soggy. So uh, I'm using probably a, uh, it's maybe a, a three or four ounce can of uh, tomato sauce, just seasoned uh, with a little bit of Italian seasoning. All right. And that's, that's good. All right. So now comes the fun part. So let's just move all this. All right. So now you can, you can start rolling in this way or you can fold in like a burrito and, and get it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because this is a little longer on the end here, I'm just going to flap that over this way here. Okay. So you want to make sure it's all loose here. Okay. And we're just going to fold that over the top this way here. And you want to kind of be gentle with it because it will tend to uh, break on you a little bit. Okay. And just roll it. OK. 
Okay, just like that. I'm going to take this and just fold it over the top. Like this. And just want to give it a good... Okay, let's just add a little bit of flour because we're going to have to move this. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm just rolling it back and forth over the flour because otherwise when we try to move it, it might break. Okay, so you see, you just give it a little bit of a roll just to tighten it up. And I'm pressing it down. And if you notice this, some air pockets in there, we're going to get rid of those once we put it on the rack here. All right, so we're going to take our rack, which is in here. All right, and I'm also going to brush this up with a little bit of the olive oil too, just so it uh, doesn't stick. You don't have to go too heavy because it's probably going to sag into it a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, with these type of racks, uh, that's what I run into anytime I use dough. It kind of kind of sags through the little openings. All right. So then we take this, kind of make it into a horseshoe uh, if you can. And right on. All right. So what I do is I try to spread it out over it just so the air can get through it and underneath. So we just spread it out like that. All right. And now we're going to give it a little bit of an egg wash. That'll give it a nice crust, nice uh, uh, brown crust. Okay, we're just going to brush it all the way around. And this is just uh, one egg yolk with uh, a little bit of water, maybe a, you know, a quarter te a teaspoon of water just to loosen up the egg yolk. Okay, we want to make sure we get all the edges so it gets nice, nice and brown and, and crusty bread kind of look. Okay, and I think we're good here. We got make sure we get it underneath. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to remember the air pockets. We want to make sure we get rid of some of those air pockets. So we want to cut little slits in here. Yeah, you don't want to go all the way down. You just want to get the top of the dough, similar to what you would do with a uh, with a pie. So just enough to let some of the steam escape. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to get this into the power air fry oven. Uh, I'm going to put this in the center uh, of the power air fry oven right here. Okay, I'm getting better at this racking thing, huh? Sometimes I've been having so many issues with that initially, trying to get the rack in there uh, straight, but getting better at it. All right, so now close the oven, power it on. We're gonna go 400, we're gonna go as hot as it goes. We're gonna start at about 15 minutes. Basically, everything is cooked. We just wanna melt the cheese and get the, the crust nice and brown and uh, and cooked all the way through. So uh, we'll go 400 for 15 minutes and we'll take a look at it uh, as we go. We wanna make sure we don't burn it. And then I'll bring you back when it's ready to come out. Okay, so we just finished here. I did add an additional five minutes because I wanted it uh, more brown on the top. So, it, uh, so the temperature we used is 400 for 20 minutes. 15 minutes, it was pretty much done. I just wanted it a little bit more toasty on the top. So uh, that'll be your call when you, you do make it. Okay, so let's take a look here. And I mean, you can take a look at this thing. That's beautiful, isn't it? And you can see where it's kind of coming down here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this sit here and let it cool, because this thing is still bubbling. It's very, very hot. Uh, we're gonna let this cool for about 10 minutes 
Then I'll cut into it and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so now I let this sit for, uh, for a little bit. Uh, still very warm, but we're gonna cut into it anyway because I'm hungry and this thing smells fantastic. So uh, I'm gonna try to get it off of this rack here. And sometimes it's a little tricky with these, uh, with this rack because like I said, it does seep, seep through. So uh, sometimes you're almost better off getting underneath it and just run your fingers across like this. That'll release it, okay. just like that. Okay. Anything that drips across will release. Okay, we'll take our little spatula here and kind of help it along. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. So take this here. Get a little spin. So we're going to cut cut the edge off right here so you can see where it uh, where it ends here. Cut a piece there. Ooh, this is still very hot. Very hot. So I can show you. Here we go. Here we go. So looks looks really good here. So the crust came out nice. I mean, it's still smoking hot. So it's still smoking hot here. So I'm just gonna break into it. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so Here's your stromboli, your chicken palm stromboli. You can obviously add more or, or uh, less of chicken or cheese, or you can even top it with some cheese if you want. Uh, I just wouldn't overdo it too much because uh, it will soften the dough. You won't get that nice crust uh, that we got here. And uh, you can use, uh, I just got some tomatoes on the side here. You can use some, some dipping uh, sauce, some tomato sauce, or just, you know, let this cool off a little bit and, you know, just you know, slice it up and, you know, you and your family can enjoy this. So if you give this a shot, you know, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, also, I, I'll leave some links down in the comments section for some of the stuff that I've used here. Uh, like if you're interested in the Power Air Fry oven or, or the book here, this is our book with uh, many of our recipes. Uh, not all of them are in there, but uh, many of our earlier recipes are in there. I'll leave some video links on the side here so you can check out uh, our playlist uh, on YouTube. Uh, again, give us some, some likes. You know, some comments, uh, go ahead and share it uh, if you like it, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, we appreciate you t spending the time to, uh, to watch our videos and spend time with us. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.